My name is Abram Hanover, and I live around uh, Downriver, Michigan. And uh, I was in a motorcycle accident in July of uh, 2023 uh, that traumatically took my uh, left foot. And uh, I had extensive damage to my left leg. I broke my femur in three spots and uh, tore all the ligaments and muscle from the top of my knee. And I uh, actually broke my uh, knee in uh, multiple spots as well and they had to amputate more uh, on my left foot and now I'm a below the knee amputee. I immediately I knew that there was gonna be a, uh, a recovery process involved. Uh, not only just, I didn't know the extent of the damage through the rest of my leg, uh, but I knew my life was about to change at that point. And uh, yeah, you have those moments in the hospital where you are coming to terms with with uh, being an amputee and uh, and you knew that you were, I mean, I, at that point I knew I was at the um, at a changing point in my life to recover from you know an extensive injury. And uh, I knew that uh, amputation uh, was about to be a very real part of my life and uh, the recovery with, uh, with a prosthetic and stuff was about to be a big hurdle. Uh, as far as support and that sort of thing, um, my family, my fiance was a huge part of that. And then I have a great group of friends around me uh, that were there immediately. And and uh, it was pretty overwhelming actually, the amount of re you know, response. I have been in the automotive industry and, and uh, just anything, I've always been super active and uh, that community just kind of you know, rallied around me quite a bit and uh, I, have, I have a great group of friends that, that really supported me in that time. Uh, as far as work, uh, for the last 10 years, I've been in uh, the machine tool industry, installing and programming uh, machines and robotics. And I lead a lot of projects, and there are a lot of uh, big automation projects that, uh, that are very physically involved. As far as my hobbies and stuff, I've just always been an active individual. Anything with an engine, anything with wheels, uh, is a huge part of my life and then uh, yeah outdoors I'm always outdoors whether it's hiking or mountain biking or I love I love to snowboard in the winter and uh, yeah anything that I can I can kind of feel the feel the thrill I guess uh, as far as the podcast um, it's called uh, before the grave podcast and it was kind of an idea that I had thought of years ago and uh, it's kind of it's a I don't know, it's a brainchild of, of me always being creative and just uh, loving in-depth conversation and uh, that sort of thing. And I was kind of pushed, I was probably about four or five months into my recovery and it was still, I still hadn't gotten a chance to get in, you know, on a prosthetic and, and I was still waiting for the rest of my, my leg to heal or get to a point to where I was cleared. And uh, just a lot, of, a lot of friends pushed me to to kind of share my story and I, I guess I have that personality that I just whatever I can do to uh, help others and and uh, I love to see other people thrive and succeed so so that's kind of where um, that the, the podcast idea kind of came from um, I just like to have in-depth conversations and just really dig deep into you know uh, people's experiences and uh, I love a comeback story and who doesn't like the underdog or comeback story my experience at, uh, at Perry and Rodney has been excellent. Um, there was a, a lot of a lot of uh, time that I'd come in, and I almost felt like I almost felt like I was more anxious to get into it than they were because they were being cautious and being being uh, following procedure and stuff. And and so there were many days where uh, I had to watch a spot on my leg uh, in the recovery on the leg. I had a I had a spot that didn't quite heal up the way it needed to, and. Uh, and uh, Chris and Rodney himself uh, were great on that. They were they were super patient and uh, you know gave me all the direction that they could and uh, you know as, as much you know optimism. Rodney is, is such an optimistic you know, optimistic individual that uh, that he did great and uh, just kept kept the hopes up and you know did did great working with him and everything else. So he's he's been a he's been a huge blessing in the in the recovery process for sure
Uh, if I were to see myself or be able to talk to myself, uh, you know, eight, nine months ago, it would be, uh, it would be, it would be to just, you know, keep your positive attitude. And uh, there's, there's a lot of changes and a lot of challenges that are going to come, but uh, don't look at it like it's, it's something that you have to do and like look at it like it's something that you can accomplish and look uh, look at it like it's something that that uh, is a challenge for you so uh, keep your keep your optimism and um, keep, just try to keep a good um, mental you know health about you that's the that's probably the hardest part it's probably more mentally challenging than it is physical and uh, keeping a good mindset and a good uh, outlook is is key and keeping good people around you that are going to support you and and lift you lift you up and and Perry Prosthetics has been great for that. You know, they've been absolutely phenomenal for that, you know, aspect and just being positive influences on it.